So Minecraft has an absolute arsehole of structures. This we already know, there's villages, ocean monuments, nether fortresses, etc. However, playing it on your own is still an absolutely unbearable experience because it's bloody miserable and it means you have no friends. That's why I try not to, but sometimes it just happens. So today, follow along with my journey on how I made a data pack to fix that by implementing structures like the one behind me to make myself seem like I actually do have friends in a world that's completely single player. So listen up, right? There's about three different steps that we actually have to go through to be able to make this data pack. Step number one is building the structures. Step number two is saving the structures. And step number three is coding them into the game. So let's have a look at how you do step number one. So to begin with, I built the Minecraft equivalent of a Methodix shanty shack. How dainty. Yeah, no, that's pretty much all you need to do for building. Now we can move on to saving the file. Okay. So in Minecraft, if you want to save a file, you have to use a special block called a structure block. Pretty much this is how a structure block works. There's two settings that I actually know how to use, there's a third one I don't really understand, but the main settings that I use is load and also save. Load can be used to bring up structures in the world that you've already saved, and save allows you to save structures. Pretty much you enter in the coordinates of the structure that you want to save, so it puts a bounding box around it, and then you hit save, and it'll save a file inside of your Minecraft worlds. And yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it, from there you can just copy and paste it inside of the data pack folder. So yeah, now we're on to coding, and this is how I did it. To be able to make the data pack, I had to generate the structures in the world using code. So I used VS Code to create a bunch of different folders and files that would tell Minecraft how, where, and what to generate in the world. I'll tag two videos down below that will actually teach you how to do that if you would like to learn yourself. But let me give you a basic run through. So within the main folder, we have the loot tables, we have the different structures, we have the tags of the structures, and then we also have how the generates in the world in the world gen folder. To be able to make the loot table of this mod so vast, I created a massive long loot table with a lot of different entries that would give you many items that a player would leave behind in their house. Here's an example of that loot table at work. As you can see, it's a lot of different building blocks, various minerals and resources, and also sometimes some tools. In the next section, it has all the different tags for which biomes I want the base to spawn in. And the final part is the world gen section. The world gen section tells the data pack where to, how to, and when to spawn a structure in the area. And now that I have all of this set up, let's go look at what structures there is. In total, I added 28 new structures to Minecraft in this data pack, all ranging from the uselessness of a left-handed screwdriver all the way up to the usefulness of literally just a new house. So here's a quick rapid fire round. We've got crafting table, crafting table, crafting table, crafting table, big crafting table. Then we've got gravestone, 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 chest with cobblestone, and random blocks. And then we've got house, 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 and finally... Big house. And yeah, boom, we can package up that mod and chuck him in Minecraft. As of by the way, I'm about to go and see some of the structures inside of my actual survival world. And if you would also like to do that, you can either go to my Minecraft planet page, or you can join the Discord, which also has the download link. Either or is fine, Discord's preferred, I mean you can come and have friends, you can say swear words, I don't really give a f- I also should subscribe and follow my Twitch while you're there. Anyway, let's, let's go find a structure. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just found the structure and I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna turn this into a base real quick, so have fun watching that, I guess. Yeah, well, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Download the stuff if you want to. Go subscribe. Cheers. Bye-bye.